Okay, so welcome back, and today we're looking at the TGF Heavy Frigate by Captain Kirk. So, yeah, as you can see, there's lots of turrets everywhere. So I can count eight on this side, eight on the other side. So that's 16 turrets on each sort of turret arm. And then there's an additional one, two, three, six at the back on each of the uh, tails. Call them tails. It's a very impressive shape, isn't it? It is. It's an impressive shape. Yeah, he's used wedges in different uh, different arrangements mm. to, to give a sort of Starlet. hull plating. It's like hull plating when the shadows fall. Yeah. Uh, but he's used two different colours so that they're even more, even further, you know, <laughs> to make it give you that plating sort of look. Mm. Like that's where the pieces went together. You can see like joins. And he's also managed to make a sort of an interesting shape. It's not just a flat angle, it's got a bit of a contour to it. So there's a line there, which you can see, which is pretty nice to look at. Um, the overall design is pretty awesome. You don't see many ships like this. Interesting to find out where the cameras are and stuff. I can see a door, so I think I've got a rough idea of where I'm going. Uh, the engine design, we get a close up on the engine design because people always do cool, cool stuff with thrusters. You can see what he's done with all these wedges. Um, and looks like we've got a sort of docking ring there, which is nice. I can tell this thing's pattern is going to be X shaped. Yeah, is, is he, he's obviously, is it AMC's or just. No, it's AMC. AMCs. Yeah, yeah, Mostly yeah. AMCs, yes, and it's got some of course space. It is. You can, I uh, reckon all the wings are full of AMC. What do you reckon? He's got some space know. back here that he hasn't made use of. It looks like inside there is how you go lot down. Of different things. Well, it looks like he's got a repair There's beam a lot in there of as AMCs well. There. there are a lot of AMCs in there, yeah. And they're all hidden in with wedges, so you can't see them. It's very good. It's clever. Eddie. Right, so I bet he's probably got his camera in there somewhere. Let's yep. check out the inside of this thing. So, here's the door, situated on the main sort of spine of the ship, I guess you could call it. And here we have the owner and a few of our friends. So i got Chaos and Ethio with me today. Uh, oh. We're being shown around by Captain Kirk, the builder. So, yeah, call room. Uh, faction module. Faction module. Yeah. This must oh. be like a restaurant, kind of. I'll have the, uh, barbecue chicken, please. <laughs> yeah, like, look, look, yeah. It's awesome. What's this? It's like a, it's like a restaurant booth back here. <laughs> <laughs> Complete with windows. Standard everyday life. And this vessel is designed solely for combat and is to fit a max crew of three. I like it. It's pretty cool. He's got like a restaurant at the end of the universe thing going on. <laughs> no, I just like it. It's cool. That's right at the end of the universe. <laughs> pretty accurate too. I mean, you got like the plants you'd see in a restaurant, like for flavor. You got windows to see out of. And you got little booths you can sit in and be like, yeah. Oh. And just watch it. Little habitat bays. What would I like to see? I'd like to see the guns. But yeah, he's done a really good job. Look at this. It's like uh, red and white. It's like the Minecraft bed. <laughs> 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 uh, but it's a wedge in the wall. I like it. And the table. That's pretty basic, but it's cool. Works well. Oh, they go into the wild. Whoa! I just clipped through the ship when I hit the gravity block. What? Yeah, I think that happens sometimes. And there's something down on the bottom, on the side of the ship that reminds me of a wrench. Uh, there must be a way into the hangar. There must be a hangar or something back here. Oh, that's all. Oh, yeah. uh, yeah, there's, there's hangers. Oh, nice. Let's have a look at those hangers up close. Oh, yes. 
Very nice. I'm gonna bet. Is there another hangar down below? Let's go and have a look. I'm getting my turret. I'm getting my stealth ship stuck on stuff. Got. Yeah. Wow, so, there's a lot of black stores down here. That's what I mean. Oh, you've got it. Yeah, there you go. There's even more plex doors here. What's the hunt here? Opens the other side. Woo, let's go through. Yeah, go straight through. <laughs> that's cool. Yeah, that's really clever. He's like embedded the hangers into the shape. <coughs> I didn't even notice them when I was first looking around it. No, not me. That's beautiful. It is. It's really nice. <laughs> works really well. Right, okay. So, uh, right. Let's do some uh, testing. One click. Oh good, he did it. So let's take a look at this. Looks like 15, 16. Uh, yeah, each one is 10. Each color right. is 10. So we're going to do one second. Oh, nice. It's an X-shaped shotgun. <laughs> look, it's going to start shooting off like... Okay, this is going to be good. Right. Okay. Shoot to the core. Oh, look at it go. Oh, there it goes, the lag. Yeah, see, the focal point that was eventually too deep and it had to start, like, cutting a wider X from the entry. So, basically, the last half is the slowest of these types of weapons. take a minute to look at where the uh, projectiles are coming out of it's not too laggy actually because I'm able to just I'm able to fly around while he's shooting <laughs> well I'm stuck at one FPS and I'm stuck Same. at him. <laughs> I'm at about 15 so yeah if it looks if the playback looks choppy during these sequences that's why because we have some well, big guns I think well, he must you know, have done it by now surely well, this is proof neither me nor Chaos can be test pilots. <laughs> nah, not at all. Sometimes there are factors that cause that. That is one funky... Check it. you got to look at it from top down. All right. Where he's shot. Look at that. Huh? Yeah, that's crazy. Big old X shape all the way through. Huh? It's beautiful. I'm surprised people don't want to take these home as trophies. Yeah. <laughs> You've almost got like a destiny shape in there. <laughs> it's good, isn't it? Yeah. I see what you mean, how it's created a cut. There's a pattern there. It's awesome. So, yeah, beautiful. Let's get on to the one shot test. So here we are with the one click test devised by Havoc and this is to simulate layers of hardened hull with corridors and rooms. Obviously these assume your shields are down or you don't have any. So let's go and take a look. Ha! <laughs> huh, an X shape yeah. on the inside wall. <laughs> it didn't pierce the layer. No it didn't, it didn't get through. Still, still a powerful weapon though, it's just the way it's put together, but then that's what these tests are for. So, welcome everyone, and this is the Humboldt, it's built by player Caption Kirk, and uh, today I'm going to be looking at this. Okay, so we're going to begin level 1, and uh, obviously that's a migraine trigger version 3. I am cloaked, nobody else is around, so let me just start underscore ship underscore AI minus 1 on this one. Go tab G on it, and we're active. Oh boy, this guy's looking good actually. He, you never know, I reckon this guy could make... Ooh, those rockets are chasing me. I hope they hit, because that would be awesome. The core's overheat. He, he oh, killed it's it. too late. It's too late. Now, look, it's going to finish him. Oh, they all died before hitting. What? Oh, well. 
and his turrets were so like let's loud. Look at the damage. Let's look at the damage. The damage was pretty impressive. So that's level one passed. This is level two. He's going to face off against the Mark Eight. So he did well against the version three. So let's see how he does when we activate the AI. So start ship AI minus one, and it's live. So let's take, get a closer look of his ship this time. Oh wow, look, he's trying to get round the side because he knows that there's less, less armor there. Wow, lag. Yeah, there's he's quite a bit. A lot. I'm, I'm no. 30 FPS. He's, uh, his shields are down. Oh really? Uh, Captain Kirk lost his shields. I think he killed it, he blocks. killed it. He killed it. Yes, he did. I think he may have. No, it's all right. I'm fine. Is it not dead? It's dead. The core is overheating. I can see it it's from here. It's just still moving. Okay, so he's managed to take out the eight. So it looks like we're going to have to spawn in the ten. He's lost a oh, turret and some hull blocks. Oh, has he? Well, it's a survival challenge, so no mercy. We won't even give him time to recharge his shields. So um, as he survived Mark 8, he gets to challenge the 9, so we're going to have a quick review. This is a survival challenge, so that means he doesn't get to repair, refit, replace any turrets. And I think so far he's lost one turret, so he's actually doing really well. Really well. It's all because it's such a nimble ship that he's got there. So let's see how he does up against the version 9. Okay. So start ship AI minus one. Got it in tab G. Triggers Ow. firing. He did get a bit to he did get a little bit of time to recover. Look, he's figured out that if he gets behind it. Oh dear, what's going on? We've got some positional lag here. I think they're just trying to get to face again. The Mark 9 has fired rockets. Really? Yeah. Oh, that's weird. I can't see them on my screen. They were there briefly and vanished. They were dumb fires. Oh, weird. Oh, it's only got BBs. Doesn't have any dumbs. Oh, this is funny to watch. The mushroom's just pulling away, trying to find a line on him, and I don't think it's actually managed to fire many times. I think it's got power issues. Either that or the weapons computer's been taken out. No, he must be out of power. His shields aren't recharging. As fast. He's getting Whoa. chewed up. That guy doesn't want to get too close, though, because uh, that's where the, the trigger excels, is getting close. Oh, yeah, the shields are red on this trigger. Oh, ah. they collided. They collided real bad. Uh oh. One FPS. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, it no, it's okay. We're back. We're back. I'm not. Oh, you yeah. uncloaked. My cloak. Oh, yeah. Okay. Cloaking <laughs> back on. Radar jammers back on. Yep. I spawned right in the middle of the crossfire there, didn't I? <laughs> is yes. he even shooting? Yes, he is. I'm watching him. He's missing a lot, though, because he's diving under it. I'm trying uh. to get his beat back. He can see the trigger, but I can't. There it is. He's going in for the kill, I think. Yeah, it looks like he took out the weapons computer, so it hasn't been firing. I'm going to see if I can get a look in. It's definitely not firing. There is an... Why is there another red diamond in here? Oh, we got a kamikaze. I'm going to kill it. Okay, destroy anything that gets in the way. I'm just having a look, and yes. Yes, the weapons computer's been destroyed. He wins. Okay, so he's killed the three, the uh, eight, and the nine. So now he's just got to beat the ten. And, um, and yeah, then he's laughing. He's completed the survival challenge, and he gets to take what's left of his ship up against the hailstorm if he wishes. 
a personally um, flown hailstorm. Sorry, yeah, it looks like, yeah, well, exactly, because this AI likes to just headbutt things and crash the server at the moment. <laughs> but it's all good. Right. I'm not cloaked. Uh, and go. That didn't work. It's not moving. I got so, the command in this time. All right, so Just here we go uh, with the migraine trigger 10 versus this beautiful ship. So yeah, go ahead and activate it, Ethiel. And we're live. This time it worked. I don't think it managed to fire though. He's he's gotten behind it straight away. He's firing. Oh, look, he's trying to go for the weapons computer and he's getting behind it so that it can't shoot. Yeah. So you wouldn't be able to do that. He's out maneuvering it quite badly as well. It's dead. It's dead. Well it's done, dead. mate. Do you know what? I reckon this thing will take the hailstorm out just because it's going to out dodge it. Okay, let's go and check this out. Oh, uh, I'm going to have to wait for this guy to stop moving so I can get a peek in too. So. Yeah, the weak spot is this tiny little bit here. If you get the shields down and shoot through here, you can easily take all the computers out and core. Very nice, with only like a seven, seven penetration weapon. Seven penetration volley. So yeah, that one's taken down, so it looks like it's hailstorm time. And this is where we usually have problems, so bear with us. Okay, so I'm within two kilometers of both of these guys. I'm gonna advance slowly and see if it doesn't crash. So that's the end of this video. Um, I'd just like to thank Captain Kirk for coming along and showing me this ship. It's a beautiful ship. Uh, we had to call off the fight with the hailstorm as usual because of lag issues. Um, but that's fine because you've got to remember this is an alpha game and all these ships are blueprinted. So we can just pull this ship and we can pull the hailstorm out of the hat anytime. So uh, all these big hailstorm versus X, whatever. These big capital fights will get redone. I'll have ships lined up waiting to have their decider matches completed. So once again, love the ship. Cheers for bringing it along. Loads of little details everywhere. You know, every time I'm looking at it, I'm going, oh, look at that as well. <laughs> so uh, cheers for watching and uh, I will see you in the next one.